We're back now with a focus on the escalating violence in Haiti. The U.S. military is planning to send more Marines to beef up security at the embassy there. But even with that, there are Americans who are trapped in that increasingly chaotic country right now. So many of you watching may be confused, asking what's happening there and why. So some perspective on this this afternoon, we brought in Jean-Marc Brissot. He's a graduate programs manager at Notre Dame Law School and has strong ties to Haiti as well. In fact, Jean, you are Haitian, correct? I am. Yeah, thank yeah. you so much for, for being here and, and, and thank you for speaking with Lauren and me about this. Yeah. I, we'll start with this question. We were just talking about this. Mm -hmm. What is happening there? Why now? What's going on in Haiti? Well, everything uh, really started because uh, of uh, politicians mm -hmm. not wanting to enforce the rule of law, right? So when you have politicians, people in power, that takes people's money and mismanage these funds mm. and then not uh, wanting to be uh, uh, transparent, transparent sure. about it and then they have no accountability to the people, then, you know, this is what you expect. You know, so money, everything started really with a two billion dollar mismanagement funds uh, of the Petrocaribe uh, money that was, uh, it was uh, oil that was sold to Haiti uh, by uh, Venezuela. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> uh, the, 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 the governments, past governments from 2006, 2008 to 2016 have mismanaged these funds. So there will be, there has been a, a spark of demonstrations asking for accountability on the part of the government. About where billions uh, of this money Where way? those money gotcha. went. Mm. But, you know, they keep wasting the funds. Mm. So then gangs, in order to control the, the, the political arena, so governments and people in the government have been giving out gangs to people, uh, f uh, funds and ammunition and guns to those leaders. They call them um, local leaders. Mm -hmm. But in fact, they are not really local leaders because they are gangs. They control the, the whole area and then Port-au-Prince in particular where the sure. state, the uh, uh, base of the government is. Mm -hmm. So they think that, you know, by giving guns and ammunition to those people, they can control their power so that they do not have to uh, go to court. They do not have to, you know, to be accountable to the, po to the population. So, is, so it, is it a fair assessment, and I know Lauren has some questions too, but is it a fair assessment to say that what we're seeing in these videos and the gains that we've been talking about, is that part of the government? Is that a part of the government or are these rebels against the government? Which one are they? Well, you can't really tell gotcha. which government that they are supporting. Gotcha. And even political leaders that are not in government, you cannot even tell because uh, when the demonstration started uh, last year, you know, there have been a lot of uh, demonstration on the street asking for the resignation of the current the prime minister you know, after the death of the president, uh, Jovenel Moise. Mm -hmm. So, you know, people have been on the street uh, demonstrating. But everything started really when the gang started, started to occupy uh, the, the Port-au-Prince area, the metropolitan sure, uh, area sure. with guns, mm -hmm. burning up schools, burn, burning up police stations. Now, a gr another group of leaders are now saying that, okay, we want uh, you know the government, the prime minister to resign, but now that the prime minister had resigned, they think that they were so powerful that the demonstration have done it. But it's not true. It's because of the gangs taking the uh, police station out, the the uh, parliament, the schools, and then occupy 80 percent of the um, um, metropolitan area of wow. Port-au-Prince. Now, what do you give them in, in return? So that's now. The, the demand of the gangs. They want something in return. They want amnesty and, now. And that's what's and, scary. I know there was a message to American people, get out now, but they're also affecting citizens, children, women, right? Let's talk about that. 500,000 children are not wi are without school now. They are on the street, wow. on IDP camps. Um, almost 200 uh, IDK camps around the metropolitan area of Port-au-Prince. Many women, children, and adults, and young kids, mm -hmm. uh, um, um, and, and vulnerable people, they are now on the street, mm -hmm. you know? They don't have any place to go. Now, uh, with this new resolution and with, with the resignation of the prime minister, some political leaders are now siding with the gangs asking for amnesty, which is unacceptable. 
how could you have you know done all these things to the population for all these years and then now for forgiveness. you are asking for forgiveness and, with right. and it's such a it's it's a contentious topic i wish we can literally talk more about because we have yeah. so many more questions to ask um you have a school down there that you've opened up for your right. for your home country um, I, we could talk a little bit more about that, but if you can in 30 seconds, talk about what that means to you personally yeah. to help some of the children and the kids in Haiti. Yes, uh, in 2017, I set up that school because of, in 2010, the, my hometown was the epicenter of the earthquake, and then 80% of the structure got destroyed. I know there's a lot of need for schools mm -hmm. for kids who have been outside and without schooling. So I've, uh, did, I did that school. I built that school in 2017 to help the most vulnerable people mm -hmm. get their, ki their kids to school. Otherwise, they would be like those gangs. And that, that on has the to break your heart now to hear all the kids. I know. It's, on the it's unfortunate. I've been on. out since 2019 and never be able. To, to get back to my home country. Well, look, yeah. We, yeah. we appreciate you stopping by, talking with us. I wish we could take a class with you just for an hour because I think we're adding a little bit more context to a really mm -hmm. com complex situation that's right. unfolding, as you can see right behind us. We'll uh, have you back on to talk about it. Oh, for There's sure. a lot Thank more to get to. Thank you. Uh, Jean-Marc Brissot, we appreciate you, and we Thank appreciate you. you watching this interview as well. We will be right back with more 16 News Now I Do after this.